Hi, I'm Pastor Bob Reeve, and welcome to Session 5 of Unprecedented. We're talking about the vital signs of a healthy Christian because we're believing God for unprecedented spiritual growth uh, to you as you're studying the Word daily, right? You're doing it daily, pressing on, doing your journaling, and, uh, and I'm proud of you. We're hearing some great reports about what God's doing in people's lives. I uh, want to talk to you tonight about your heart. Matter of fact, as one of your critical vital signs, if you go to the doctor, they're going to check your heart out. They're going to check your an EKG. They're going to listen to your heart, how your heart is doing. And I think the heart for a Christian is where you're at in worship. I think how people worship God, the heart that they come to in worship with, is an absolute critical part of their experience with God and a crucial part of of, uh, of living a healthy Christian life. I want to read to you a powerful passage of Scripture about worship and found in Psalms, verses, verse, uh, Psalms 100. It says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, our God, He is good. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful to Him and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endures to all generations. Worship and praise is something that has to come from our heart. It has to be sincere. The words have to mean something. They have to be important. I'm reminded of, a, of, a, of an old joke about the preacher who was trying to sell his horse and potential buy, buyer came to check out the horse and the preacher was giving him some information. He said, hey, look, before you start, you should know that this, church, this horse only responds to Christian talk and so, uh, so, uh, so it only listens to praise the Lord and amen. And so the man gets on the horse and he says, praise the Lord, and the horse starts riding. The man says, praise the Lord again, and the horse, horse starts to gallop. Suddenly there's a cliff right in front of the horse and the man yells, Amen. And just in time, the horse comes to a stop. The man wipes the sweat off his brow and he goes, Praise the Lord. Well, there you go. Words are important. What comes out of your heart is important. What you speak is important. And how we worship God is so critical. You know something? We praise God for several different reasons. Number one, our almighty God is worthy of our praise and worship, isn't he? He's completely worthy. Psalms 18 verse 3 says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Worship is who God is. We worship God because of who he, who he is. Praising God is for what he has done and thanking God is praising Him or thanking Him for what He has done for you. We, pray, we praise God also because we're called to praise and worship Him. 1 Peter 2.9 says we're a cho chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, His own special people that we mo may proclaim the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His mar marvelous light. Worship changes us. When we worship God, it actually changes us. I love to worship God because it changes me. It doesn't just leave me like the old Bob. It makes me like the Bob that God sees. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, And as the Spirit of the Lord works within us, we become more and more like Him. That's what I want. I hope that's what you want as well. Worship and praise ushers in the manifested presence of God. Psalms 22.3 says, Thou art holy, O Lord, thou inhabits." You inhabit the praise of your people. You are holy and enthroned in the praises of Israel. Worship also defeats the enemy. Do you realize that, that one of the things that the enemy can't stand is our praise? When you start to praise God, he runs away, he flees, he gets out of there because he cannot stand praise. And so as you praise and worship God, wow, things really change. You know something, there's different ways to praise. I just want to remind you of some things of what the Scripture says. The, worship, the Scripture says that we praise Him with our voice, with our lips. Scripture says that we praise Him with His body. It says, I will, lift up your, I will lift up my hands to the Lord. I will bow, I will kneel or bow before my Maker. We worship God with music. We work, worship Him with our emotions. There's nothing that says that you should park your emotions outside and come into church. Emotions are a part of you. There's nothing wrong with emotions. You just don't want to run your life based on them. But it's great to give your emotions to God. And we worship God with our entire life. And so as a pastor and as somebody that looks at the spiritual health of individuals, one of the things we have to look at is where's your heart 
and is it coming across in worship? You know, it's one thing to say you love God. It's one thing to mean it inside. It's another thing to let go of yourself. Say, you know something, God, I'm going to worship you with everything I have. Man, I hope you've been encouraged to be a better worshiper. I hope you're, I hope you're encouraged to press on with God because there's nothing quite like just worshiping. And after all, when we get to heaven, we're going to be doing a lot of worship and praising from what I understand. So you might as well get a head start on it now. Be a great worshiper. Looking forward to seeing you next time.